Thanks for tuning in to my gaming podcast, Gems in Gaming, where I play various games and tell different stories about my life, experiences, wisdom, uh, anything to help inspire and encourage others. You were born with the ability to change someone's life, and you should never waste it. If you enjoy, please like, comment, or subscribe. King Kang. Yo, what's going on, y'all? So, uh, today we're playing Ratchet and Clank, um, the newest one, I suppose. Um, I can't continue on this without saying that my sister Tiffany bought me this, and I have to say something nice about her. Um, she's, she's the owner and founder of Tiffany Blue Kitchen, so I'll probably put that on the screen. Um, definitely check that out. Um, I have never played this, so we tried like playing something new for gems and gaming one time before. We did like Ori in the Blind Forest, and it was uh, it was very distracting for me considering it was new. And um, I've never played Ratchet and Clank or this one before. Um, I put it on the hardest difficulty, so I'm sure it'll it probably won't be as easy as I. You know, as easy as I think it'll be to try to have this conversation while doing it, but it's all good. So, today's Gems in Gaming is, is about embracing the grind. Embracing the grind. So, I'm going to get, like, um, really, um, I guess I, I want to say, I don't know if this is a word, convictional. Um, you know, I want you to feel convicted as you hear these words, because, because, you know, for those that, for those that aren't on their grind right now, um, I want you to feel convicted because this is, this is something that I think is important for me about about embracing the grind. So, um, I I can't tell you enough how how. I've met so many people that, you know, say they want something or say they want to do something or claim that, that, that they're ready for, you know, the next stage in, um, oh, okay, the next stage in, I don't know, the next stage in, you know, the next, their career or, or what it is that they want to do in life, you know, whatever the case is. Um, they always claim to be ready. They always claim to be ready. And, and they start and they get motivated to start. And then the next thing you know, I talk to them like a week from now, a month from now, whatever the case may be. And now all of a sudden, they're back to where they started. They, they have given up, um, you know, the concept that they, they said that they was ready for. They, they, they started to get that up. Um, and again, I'm not playing with sound, so I could be missing something. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be doing, but I, I guess that's gonna make this more entertaining. But the reason that I start to see that people give up is because, uh, shoot the blog ships, okay, word. The reason that I believe that that you know people give up is because they say they want something, but they don't want to put in the effort to truly get it. You know, um, you know, it's a difference between like saying like, oh man, I really want to, I don't know, I want to lose weight. Right? Let's just say that I want to lose weight. That's an easy one. <laughs> Come on, it's like it's, it's. I know it's plenty of people that feel that way. Like, man, I really want to lose weight. I really want to do what's right and, and, and change my diet, lose weight, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so um, that that's a common one. A lot of people go through that. Typically, after they get to college, they definitely go through that when they're like, oh man, my eating habits and my and my exercise you know, habits. They weren't, uh, for, for my uh, older body, they weren't exactly, you know, what I, 
what I should have been doing or should have been, you know, uh, uh, participating in. And I see that now. So they go, all right, I'm going to lose weight. So then they go to the gym for, let's say, some for some people, like the first time in their lives, right? Like, like legit. Um, it's pretty sad. I mean, you know, just that, that we can go our whole lives and never, you know, work out or do something that's beneficial for us. Um, just because we just never really had to had the need to um, and and when you finally start to you know start to invest in yourself in certain areas and you've never done it before after the first time you do it or second time you do it you're just like bro I gotta do this forever in order to lose weight like I gotta continue to you know, this is what I gotta do <laughs> to lose weight. I gotta work out every single day. Some people ain't really built for that. I mean, mentally, they're not there yet, right? So they go, you know what, bump it. I'll just try something else. So we go down a path of trying, you know, basically anything, everything. Um, yeah, this is the first level. Like, that's a lot happening right now. I guess this will happen when you say, uh, put, uh, give me the hardest difficulty. Um, so, oh, uh, that's cool. Oh. <laughs> Neat. So, you know, like, people aren't really, a lot of people aren't built for that because they've never done it before. And then they try every other thing, like, as an alternate method to, um, you know, see like all right maybe if i don't maybe if i just change my diet i'll try keto i'll try paleo i'll try this i'll try that i'll try this i'll try that they do everything except you know stick to the plan embrace the ground right i think i did um stick to the plan i did stick to the plan last week on our gyms and games um you know, stick to the plan, you know, it's basically saying like, if, if you saying you're gonna do something and, it, and it's, and you've planned it out to make you better and to make you grow, you know, stick to it, you know, and that's, and that's, and that's another thing about embracing the grind. Like, it's not gonna be easy. The moment you take the mentality and, and, you know, you know, have the mentality that it, it's a long term process whenever you are trying to become better or whenever you're trying to achieve a goal or whenever you're trying to chase a dream um you know sometimes it's a long-term process and it's okay to like feel discouraged while putting in the work because it's not quick you know we live in the microwave era um you know metaphorically you know we always want things to happen quickly um and that's that's not the the that's not the case for you know putting in work to to become better. It ain't no, there is no quick fix. Um, you know, <laughs> you know a lot of people feel like they found the quick fix or they found a way to get a quick fix. Right? Like they know for a fact, like oh, you know, if I just skip this or skip that, and now you know they they look for shortcuts, right? Um, that's cool for those people, but for for those of us that's not trying to, you know, take shortcuts, you know, for those of us that are comfortable, quote unquote, you know, embracing the grind, like like we're discussing, um, that that quick fix stuff is corny, <laughs> you know, because because the 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 reward that you get from embracing the grind is so much more. Yo, did Buddy stare at me on the ground and then unleash his clip? That's crazy. Alright, they weren't playing with it when they said the difficulty level was, uh, <laughs> was gonna be intense. I put it on the highest one, but. So, I mean, um, so, you know, you know, that quick fix stuff is, is cool for some people. You know, people that don't want to put in the work, don't want to put in the effort, but for those that do, embrace that grind. Like, like just know that it's not going to be easy. And that's okay. Um, you know, you might get 
discouraged every now and then. Take, take it from someone that started his own business, someone that works out every morning at 5 a.m. Um, you know, take it for someone. Take it from someone that is uh, <laughs> exhausted often, <laughs> mentally, physically. Uh, you know, just drained. Like, trust me, if anybody, if anyone gets it, I definitely do. Um, but that's why I'm also saying embracing the grind is is so important for you to just realize. But all right, this is this is not going to be quick. You know, it's not going to be easy. So I'm I'm supposed to have these moments where I feel like, oh man, is everything I'm doing paying off? Is it, you know, is it worth it? Um, you know, you're supposed to have that, and and that's okay. You know, um, one, you're human. <laughs> Never forget that. Embrace the grind doesn't mean you know. Uh, don't feel discouraged because you're getting tired, or, or you know, don't get tired, <laughs> or, or don't feel like you know, you know, because you can't see the efforts immediately. Um, that what you're doing is, you know, less of you're less of a person from from being discouraged. That's not true at all. You're human, but um. Because you're a human, I think it's best to have the mentality that, all right, all right, all right this is the long-term game, and I'm going to have to grind to get what I need, so I need to embrace it, right? That's the point of embracing the grind. So, obviously, I have a few um, tips and, and a couple of pieces of advice to help people embrace that grind like we're discussing. Um, and... You guys know I, I always preach having a routine. Having a routine is so important, you know, especially as an entrepreneur, but just for anyone in general. A lot of people wake up every day and just go to work, or you know they wake up every day and just go to school, or wake up every day and just do X, do Y, do Z, whatever the case is. They do whatever you know, whatever it is that they do on a day-to-day -day basis and with, without even noticing they've been doing it for one month two months a year two years ten years now all of a sudden it's ten years go by and you're doing the exact same thing because you don't have a routine when you don't plan your time or you know uh, control your time someone else will control it for you <laughs> someone else will control it for you I will cut to the chase. So that's why it's extremely important you. that you that you have a routine. Be completely in control of your day. So when you have a routine so you and you follow it day in, day out, week over week over week, eventually you start to, speaking from experience, you start to get discouraged. You start to feel like man like, i've been doing this so long like i see a little bit of progress but i don't see the true progress or true results that i want to see like, you know um you truly start to to feel like man i am you know you know i am doing pointless efforts i'll say it like that i'll be as pessimistic as possible for this type of mentality you say that to yourself, and then the next thing you you know, you start to give up. You know, some people, but you start to give up. And as you start to give up, what you're doing then is reverting back to your old ways, going away from your routine, doing what you did before the, you know, before you had a routine, before you set goals. And then before you know it, you start to realize, like, man, like, now that I'm not following a routine, I see how unproductive I am. I see how how it's way more pointless to do nothing than it is to actually follow the routine and put in the effort. You start to see that. So when you see that, then you tell yourself, okay, I gotta embrace this grind. Because if I don't embrace this grind and I just, um, all right. Uh, if, I, if I don't embrace this grind, um, and I just, you know, uh, continue doing, you know, whatever, just because I don't like the immediate 
results I'm seeing, then what I'm saying is I'd rather do nothing and and put in no effort than do something and put in the effort, right? Like that that's that's what we're saying right so if we say, you know what, I, I quit. <laughs> when you say you quit, you're you're basically saying I'd rather not you know, achieve my dreams just because it's hard right now. I, feelings are temporary. And that's something that impacts all of us. It doesn't matter who we are. Feelings are temporary. And, and at times, it, feelings might get the best of us. But those are temporary feelings, right? The feelings are temporary. So that, that means that regardless of how you feel, what it is that you actually do is what matters. That's why embracing the grind is so, so important. Um, so one, get a routine, right? That's the first thing we're, we're, we're saying. Um, two, after you've gotten a routine, um, after you've gotten a routine, next start to tell yourself mentally, you know, give yourself some, uh, some affirmation, give yourself something that you can mentally wrap your head around. Um, Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out why this wasn't working. Okay. Give yourself something that you can mentally wrap your head around. So, for example, you wake up every day and go, I'm going to, like, just for, do, do it for a week. Let's say you want to lose weight and you say you want to change your diet. Um, um, all right, sorry. I, I definitely missed what just happened. Oh, I for sure missed what just happened. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, got you. That's cool. Um, so, yeah, you guys, again, you gotta forgive me because I'm, you know, oh, this is a shoddy? Oh, let's go. Boy, stop. <laughs> oh, these are citizens? Oh, my bad, y'all. I need to be scrapping right here. Yeah, this game is pretty cool. I mean, I love. It's kind of mad realistic, you know, I'm a little old school, so I'm used to the 90s games where everything was in, you know, uh, what is it, 8-bit, 64-bit, <laughs> I can't remember, but, you know, I guess this is dope, this is dope, but yeah, like, um, forgive me for getting distracted, but, you know, the whole, the whole point essentially is tell yourself, alright, this week I'm going to, I am going to lose weight. Um, I mean, excuse me, change my diet. I'm not going to eat this thing or that thing, you know, whatever the case is. Just tell yourself that in the AM. Tell yourself that in the morning. This is this is what I'm going to achieve this week. I am going to achieve this this week. Tell yourself that in the morning because typically um, when you don't, when you have been living a, a life or having a habit that you've been doing for years and, and, and years and years, that typically becomes your mindset. So what I have to do is change my mindset. What I do when I get up in the morning, I listen to daily audio Bible. Um, I set my I set my mind on my spiritual aspect. Then I go work out immediately. Then I'm building my physical aspect. And then as soon as I get back, I'm listening to I'm making breakfast while listening to Dr. Miles Monroe, Dr. Eric Thomas, whoever the case, you know, whoever is inspiring me at that moment. So now I'm focusing on myself mentally, and I and I do that to start my day. So, um, to start my day, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm shaping my mind around the fact that continuous improvement is key. Versus what I was doing before, it could have been anything like waking up, getting on Instagram, like scrolling, um, you know, uh, oh, that's lit. It really, it really could have been like anything that I was doing, um, you know, like anything, <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you, uh, whatever, it's something unproductive, um, very unproductive, it, it quite literally could have been anything that I was doing, um, when I woke up, like I was saying, 
when you do something for so long and that becomes your mentality, you don't even realize that you are setting yourself up for failure. You know what I mean? Like you're setting yourself up because mentally you're already in a headspace that um, you're already in a headspace that like ah oh, this is uh, you know this is this is my life. I'm gonna scroll on Instagram, compare myself to other people or TikTok or whatever it is people are into. Um, you know whatever social media platform it is. I, I, I've seen it on like YouTube Shorts like. <laughs> Sometimes I'll scroll on YouTube shorts and let's say for me, like if I'm really going down a rabbit hole, then I've probably been doing something for 10 minutes, which is a long time for me. If I'm sitting there on, on social for for more than five minutes and I, I'm definitely doing something, I'm definitely not doing anything productive. No, not even remotely close. And I, today, I noticed that. Like, um, you know, I would have never noticed that before. And I would have always just continued to to do the exact same thing that I've been doing my whole life and never really notice that um can I throw this? I thought I could throw this. Okay. You know, I never would have noticed that because I wasn't really tracking my day, I wasn't really paying attention um, to the time I was wasting whenever I was doing something, you know. Uh, I tell you guys all the time while I do gyms and gaming at the exact same time every week so I can I, I, I have it planned out like okay this is what I'm going to do if I'm going game I'm a game and I'm going to do gyms and game and I'm going to make it educational I'm going to help people I'm gonna, I I in you know I embrace the ground but I uh, make sure that 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 my time that I'm spending is appropriate to the plans of my day all right that that like all right that that is you know i'm making i'm making an effort for 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 the activities that i do within my day um, and i make sure i do that all the time every week but when you do get to that point and you do um you know, make that effort. Then what I'm telling you, the next hardest thing is to do, at least in my opinion, the next hardest thing to do is to embrace that grind. Is to know that, okay, I gotta do this month in, month out, week after week after week, year after year. <laughs> you know, I know I went months, weeks, years, but you, you know, you get, you get the point. Like that, you gotta embrace that to the fullest extent. You know, um, the fullest extent, you gotta embrace that. You know, every single time. I mean, because the moment you give up, I'm telling you, man, that's why? <laughs> why? Why would you put in so much effort? Why would you say, all right, this is the dream I'm gonna have, and this is what I'm gonna do, this is the goal I'm gonna set for myself. And then the moment it you realize it's not easy, it's just like, well, going back to doing what I did before, I told myself, you know, I was gonna follow this plan. No, don't do that. Don't ever do that. You know, uh, one, you gotta tell yourself, like, all right, give yourself this affirmation. I'm worth it. Oh man, you tell yourself you're worth it, then, then when you stop doing it, what you're doing is saying you're not worth it anymore, and that's never the case, right? You're always worth it, and you know that. You know, you don't need anybody to tell you that. You definitely know that. Um. You know, and if you don't know it, and I'm telling you that today, I'm telling you that right now, you are worth it. You're definitely worth it. Why? Why are you not? <laughs> because somebody told you you weren't, or because you know you you were comparing yourself to someone else, or you got self-conscious about something. That's cool. Feelings are temporary. What you do is not. Feelings are temporary. Your actions aren't. So make sure that you know the actions that you are you know, doing is towards that effort of achieving your goal. Embrace that grind. When I work out every morning, I take my, my workouts are more intense every other month because I'm making sure that I'm getting better every single time. I am 
and I know it's not going to be quick. And I'm a, and I've accepted that. And the moment I've accepted that, I've started to embrace the grunt straight up. Um, you know, that's the that's the whole point. You know, when you know something is going to be difficult, there's no point in in quitting because you're worth it and remember the moment you tell yourself you're not worth it anymore that's the moment you you give up and what's the point of giving up don't give up you are worth it embrace that grind but um i'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here it's like around 25 minutes and you know i i like to keep them relatively short there are some longer ones but embrace that grind like I just wanted to introduce this concept. I could go even deeper into this. Um, I always have ideas of, of content, which which I, I might go deeper into it, but let's just start off with the simple concept of embracing that grind. Feelings are temporary, but the actions that you do are not. Never forget that. All right, y'all, y'all take it easy. Um, my birthday's coming up soon, so cool, cool milestones to hit, but y'all take it easy and uh, God bless.